hello everyone welcome again in hangman youtube channel so in this video we will have uh, another video and is in this video we will talk about integration between petrol and eclipse and i'm opening petrol window right now i will use petrol to run the simulation and this is the script and the keywords from the eclipse case all right I use a template case from the software and in this particular case we are talking about aquifer especially Carter Tracy aquifer all right and you can see here the node example of Carter Tracy aquifer support in volatile oil case okay so first in the first part of this video I'm I'm just going to go through this keyword the script and then we will run the, the, the script we will run the simulation using petrol okay so what do we have here of course we have impasse right so this is the implicit pressure explicit saturation case okay run spec of course we use run spec to to start the simulation the title two-dimensional Carter Tracy aquifer test case this is the template case from from the software and the dimension and X and Y and NZ okay 15 layers in X one layer in Y and 10 layers in Z we use six components okay so we are currently handling a compositional case we will use oil water we will use field unit and then this is for the aquifer i'm not i'm not going to go detail to op to to discuss all this the meaning of all these keywords if you're interested you can go and read the tutorial read the 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 guideline right the manual book okay so this is for the grid so we use equals okay so all the grids will have equal number equal value for dx dy and for the porosity okay and then for the perm x okay and then okay and then we will use copy so i will take my perm x and use it to be equal with the perm y and then perm x equal with perm z so it's a homogeneous case okay perfectly homogeneous case and then i will multiply the perm z by 0 0.2 so it's actually not pure homogeneous case because the perm z is only 20 percent of the perm x okay you see here first i take perm x equals to the perm z and then perm z i multiply with 20 percent and then you see this is for the perm x by the way okay and then all right yeah what is this actually this is for z1 and then dz z2 layer 1 layer 2 this is for layer 3 this is for layer 4 this is for layer 5 because in 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 z we have 10 layers okay and these are the permeability in each z layer okay the first z layer will have permeability of x in 100 milli darcy equal all the grids in layer one and in layer two they will have you know perm x of 100 and then for layer three 50 and so on and so forth okay or sorry maybe yeah i i will correct that so first layer here will have this 
as the perm X, 100, and then perm Z, I mean perm uh, layer 2, will have perm X this one. Okay, and then layer 3 will have this perm X of 35 milli Darcy, and then layer 10 will have permeability of X, permeability in X direction of 100 milli Darcy. Okay, and then use perm X value to be equal with the perm Y value and then perm X, I mean in perm Z, 20% of the perm X. Okay. All right, this is the, the top. Okay, the, 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 the depth of the top. And then this is for the properties. We will use equation of state. And the equation of state that we will use is Peng Robinson. We will use correction there. Reservoir temperature, 160 degrees. This is to define the standard condition. Okay, 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 14.7 PSI for the pressure. And this is for the component names. So uh, we will we will use C1, C3, C6, C10, C15, C20. And these are their critical temperature of all these components. Okay. They are aligned in respective value. I mean, C1, this is the critical temperature, this is the critical pressure of C1, and so on and so forth. And this is the Z-factor critical. This is the molecular weight. So you see C1 is actually CH4. So molecular weight of carbon atom is 12. And we will use 4 atoms of hydrogen. And the molecular weight of hydrogen atom is, of course, 1. So 12 plus 4 multiplied by 1, you have 16. Okay, the same with C3, C6, and so on and so forth. These are the molecular weight. These are the eccentric factor. These are the binary interaction component. And this is the for the rock property. You know, this is the rock compressibility. This is the the pressure at this pressure the compressibility is this remember we use field unit if i'm not mistaken yeah we will use field unit so in field unit for the compressibility the unit will be psi to the power of negative one and then this is for the pvt for water okay and then this one, SWFN, SGFN. So these are the relative permeability. Okay, relative permeability table. Again, if you're interested, the best approach is you go to the manual book and then read the guideline there. Okay, and then this, the for this reference depth, okay, ZMF versus depth, you have actually a table, and this, you only have one line in your table, and this is for the density, and now we go to the solution section. Okay, this is for the aquifer. Okay. This is for the equilibrium condition. Okay, some setting for the solution. And this is for the summary setting for the schedule. Now we have two producer p1 and p2 okay and then these are the comdat which means this is the completion setting okay 
P1 and P2, the, the wells are opened. And this is for the setting, the control for the production. So the well will be controlled by oil rate. Okay. I'm not actually 100% sure the alignment of these values, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is, you know, the oil rate and maybe this is the pressure. Yeah, I'm not perfectly sure about that, but I think, yeah, one of them will be oil rate, one of them will be pressure. Okay, so this is the, oh here, yeah, this is the setting. 2000 well prod is for back compatibility. Preferred keyword is W con prod. Okay. So this one, back compatibility 2000. And shut in the wells if water cut above 0 0.5. So this is the setting for well limitation. Well limitation is water cut 50%. The well will be shut in. So we put 0 0.5 there. And now the group limit, limit for the group, group of wells, stop run if oil prod falls below 10 stock tank barrel per day. So this will be applicable for all the wells in the group. Okay, so it will be 10 there. Okay, see, so this is the time step, setting for the time step and then end, end simulation. Okay, so for Eclipse, I think that's all. And yeah, by the way here, if I was not clear enough, this is to specify initial liquid composition. Okay, initial liquid composition. This is surface density, only water is used. Okay. Again, this is at site drive aquifer. All right. Okay, if we have opportunities in the future, yeah, I also hope that we can, I can elaborate more about the keywords, the settings in Eclipse. But for this particular video, I think we just need to go directly to the simulation. So I will close this one and we will run the case, the Eclipse case using Petrel. So here in this Petrel window, we have home stratigraphy, seismic interpretation, structural modeling, and then property modeling, fracture modeling, RE reservoir engineering, and well engineering. But actually we will go to this simulation.